For our little beach adventure, we ended up going to a beach on Rogers Road. So this is located in the Bay of Plenty on the western side. Sometimes finding inspiration can be rather difficult. So whenever I'm trying to find inspiration, especially in a new area that I've never been before, sometimes it's nice to explore the place and get a feel for what's around. So while I was on my little adventure, I came across an estuary. In this area, they had a lot of birds, a lot of wood, broken up shells and all that. So I kind of had to do a little bit of digging around and seeing what I could find that could have been of interest. I found some interesting things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel my way back. going to leave our little noisy friends here. And I'm just going to go to my little art studio that I set up on the beach. I was really lucky because I had a beautiful view of the ocean as well as the boys while they're doing the fishing. So this is my little collection of things that I found along the beach. So there was definitely a lot of broken shells, so I had to do some digging around, but I found some really cool things. I especially found some coloured seaweed and coral as well, which I really like the shape of because it's quite peculiar. So this is the Voyager watercolour compact palette set with 18 pieces from Jazz Art. So this is supposed to be a portable watercolour kit that you can take around with you everywhere you go. So I had quite a variety of colours, so you got your blues, your browns, your purples, your greens, your reds, your oranges, and then you also had a black and white there to play with as well. So I'm just going to do a close up of the colours and stuff just so you guys can get an idea. So it did come with a mini brush as well that you could also use which is kind of handy because it just slots on the side. You also got a little sponge thing there on the top of it so I think that was used for absorbing water as well as cleaning the brush. So I bought some extra brushes along as well so these are a little bit longer so I was hoping they were a little bit easier to control. So with these brushes all you do is unscrew the lid, pour your water in, screw it back up again and just give it a little squeeze to release some water in the fine tip. So with these brushes they had kind of a nice flexible tip so it was literally like a little paintbrush. So I decided to use two different brush types so I had a larger one and a thinner one. So here I've also got some pens and pencils so I've got a black tip, I've got my white gel pen for touch ups and highlights as well as pencils and stuff. I also had a sharpener and a razor as well just in case I needed those. So let's just open up this book and start drawing. I decided to go with something simplistic because I wasn't overly too sure how to use this watercolour set in general. I chose this shell because I thought it was a lot easier to work with just because I'm playing around with a new media that I haven't touched before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use an HB pencil just to kind of lightly drop my shape. I like drawing up my stuff first before I start painting so I know exactly what I'm going to do and it kind of leaves less room for mess ups. Because the palettes were so dark I ended up just doing a few little swatches here and there to see which ones were probably best suited for painting the shell. So I tried the oranges and the reds just to see what was happening.
So luckily in the palette as well, they ended up having a mixing palette at the back. So I ended up mixing up the reds and the black and the browns just to kind of get that color that I needed just for the base. So first I just kind of started off with the lighter reddish colors just to kind of form my shapes, where everything was going, and just mainly the outlines. So hopefully from here I can dilute it a little bit with water and just make things a lot smoother. So what I did as well as I ended up diluting the red a bit just to kind of get those nice pinkish tones coming through. The cool thing about using this pen is if things came out too dark all I had to do was just press the end of the pen and water would come out so it just dilute the colour a little bit more and make it a little lighter. Sorry for the hair that comes into the shot, it was very windy that day. I did have a cover, unfortunately didn't cover all the wind. So I'm just going in with a brown and black just to kind of show more definition and shape to the shell. I then tried going with orange. I think maybe the orange ruined it a little bit. So I tried going in with a little bit more black and brown just to kind of add more shape. So ended up going with a little bit of white just to show where the highlights and the ridges of the shower were. I kind of wish I waited for it to dry a little bit more only because it didn't show too well. I did a swatch of the colours just so I can kind of see what colours I had there. They did have example colours at the end of each colour palette but I didn't think it did it justice so it was just easy for me to play around with. So I wasn't too happy with how this drawing slash painting came out so I decided to go in and just do some touch ups using my white gel pen and my black fine tip pen.
this is the end product for my shell. I wasn't too happy about it, but I do need to remember that this is the first time I've ever worked with watercolors and practice makes perfect. Hey guys, so I'm finally back from a beach day. So I gotta say, it was a lot of fun. This kit was really cool. The only thing I'd do next time is probably bring an extra palette and also an extra sponge for cleaning up my brush because I was using my clothes and my towel a lot of the time for cleaning my stuff. However, I would definitely give this a go again. I do want to get better at watercolor. I gotta say that these are awesome to have guys, especially when using the watercolor palette as well. The brush size is really nice. I was able to have bring water along with me without my jars and everything like that. The things I've learned about having a paint palette like this is one, bring an extra palette along because the back one is not enough space, especially when you're mixing a lot of colors. And two, bring an extra sponge along for cleaning up your paints. I just, it's an easier way to clean up your paintbrush as well as get rid of excess water instead of wiping on your clothes. If you guys enjoyed this video, click that like button, don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification button to see more content from me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you guys later. Bye! <laughs>